the starting price is the, is the lowest price you are willing to sell your item for and bidding will start at this price let us assume that you are selling a digital camera on eBay assume that the price you want for this camera is $100 you can just put a starting price for your auction of $49.99 uh, as a starting price when bidders see uh, your listing and find that they are buying a $100 value for $49.99 they will start placing bids and the price will rise for each bid placed by buyers some sellers can put even a lower starting price if their items are high I highly demanded and like they want to attract more buyers to place bids uh, however if the item is not popular you can just set a reserve price some professional sellers who are selling very common and high selling products they can put a starting price of one dollar or even 99 cents although the price they want for this product can be hundreds of dollars they depend on the fact that their products are hot sellers and that they sure will got lot of bids so sellers some sellers also found that setting the starting price too high may discourage bidding like always low starting bids attract more and more buyers and however some other sellers may 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 prefer to put a reserve price just to make sure that uh, they get what they want as i told you before you can add a buy it now price for for an auction format listing uh, this will allow buyers to buy your item immediately and they don't have to wait for the whole duration of auction which can be from 1 to 10 days so let us take the hundred dollars camera as an example again you put the starting price in the previous part as 49.99 and you want hundred dollars from this camera so go ahead and put a buy it now price for one or four dollars make it higher a little bit uh, than the real value you want from the camera why you should do this when bidders see your buy it now price they will get a rough estimate that your camera falls within this range which is 104 so they will start placing their bids with their mindset that the actual price of this camera is 104 they will be thinking that even if they place their bids and take it for one or two dollars they have got a deal so make make the buy it now price a little bit higher than the real price you want for the camera it will attract uh, bidders to place bids and even if someone buy it using the buy it now price for one or four dollars you already made uh, more profit so let us uh, go and discuss reserve price a reserve price is the lowest price at which you are willing to sell your item uh, for uh, in our example it's the hundred dollars digital camera the reserve price is not shown to your bidders so wh what you do you just place a starting price for your camera of 999 for example and you put a reserve price for hundred dollars when the bidders uh, start placing bids uh, assume that the bidding just reached $50 and if the auction ends you are not obliged to sell your item at $50 so you are protected by the reserve price you have put which is $100 for the camera uh, however if the bids reach the $100 the item will sell to the highest bidder so the reserve price is usually used for items which are not in high demand like items which in which you are not expecting too much buyers to place a bid so you protect yourself by putting a reserve price which will guarantee that your item will sell at this price or if if this price is not reached it's not reached you you, you don't have to sell your item now back again to this page for the quantity I prefer that you sell uh, one item of each product you are selling as a beginner just put a quantity of one and seal and sell each of your products as one item 
for the duration you have a lot of options uh, starting one three five seven and ten days ten days will cost you more money so avoid it in the beginning for the others if you if you want to sell your item fast you can list it as uh, one day or three days and uh, it will appear higher in the search results but you carry the risk that it might not be seen by a lot of buyers most sellers use seven days duration for their auctions let me take you to some tips of for auction format listing one of the tips is whenever you decide to start an auction for an item the first thing you should do is to look to look up its value on ebay let us take a bb sound video monitor as an example go to ebay.com and put bb sound video monitor here and click advanced search now check completed listings here and see the results and click search and see the results this will bring you all the sold items regarding this monitor so you can get an average price of how this item sells on e ebay or for how much this item sells on ebay this is very nice if you are starting on ebay just pick up the item you want to sell do a completed uh, listing advanced search just to look up the value and to beat the competition another tip is to close your auction at a time when people get home from work try to close your auctions on friday saturday and sunday because most of the people are there and they can look up their computers another uh, another tip is to start with a low starting price because uh, this will bring your uh, your listing on the top of the search so it will give it will give it more visibility however this is will be true for items that in high demand and that will attract more buyers you can also run 10 days duration auction because like you can start an auction on thursday evening and for 10 days it will end at sunday evening so you've got two weekends uh, where more people and buyers are at home and planning to bid and willing to bid and buy uh, another thing is that some of uh, bids come in during the last two or three hours so make sure that the close time for your auction is happens when your target buyer is at his or her computer for example if you are targeting a college student usually they sleep early so make sure that your uh, your uh, auction ends around 9 or 10 p.m. maximum always write accurate descriptions of your listings and this will help to build confidence with your buyers another thing is to avoid auctions around big holidays where people mostly travel like Christmas and uh, Memorial days thank you for uh, listening to this tutorial and i will uh, see you in the next tutorial